Hello everyone, Zane here and welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all having a great day so far. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to make Gil in Stormblood with Leatherworker. One of my personal favorites. As a reminder, make sure you guys do your research on your server before making any of these items and selling them. Each server will differ, so make sure you guys do your research before selling. So for those of you on Gilgamesh, I'm basically doing your job for you. Alright, so the first thing on this list is an oldie but a goodie, Dragon Leather. Dragon Leather happens to be the leather that's used in most of the housing items that were implemented in patch 4.5. So Dragon Leather are making a comeback. So, we're going to round this up to 1800. And it's probably going to be ranging up to possibly 15,000. I seriously doubt it. Since it's mostly for housing items, you're most likely going to be seeing it below 5,000. So as the sales history shows, they've been doing great all day, even though it's by one person. And I'm assuming also yesterday they've been selling quite well as well. As you can see, nothing over 2,000. Again, because you mostly use in furnishings, but if there are people coming from Heaven's Ward, you might get more. Alright, so Dragon Ladder is definitely something you guys probably want to look into. Next is going to be the base leather of Stormblood, and that's Gagan Leather. Alright, so we're going to completely ignore this person's horrible undercutting. So we're going to go to this next one, which is 1100. And we're going to pretty much say about 5,000. I don't think anybody else is going to pay over that, honestly. Uh, as you can see on my server, they've been doing great the other day. Not too much today, but again, the sales history shows they've been selling quite well. They are also used in uh, the Lev Quests for Leatherworker as well. So it definitely seems to be a good place to start, especially if you're coming into Stormblood. Next is Gayuki Leather. This is the second leather you guys will be making on your list. Now, the Gayuki wristbands is also a Love Quest item, which is right here. So, as you can see here, I only have seven hits on my server. So, they'll most likely be fly they're flying out to shelves. So, we're going to run that up to 2200 and possibly up to 5000. Honestly, no one's going to pay for that much for leather, unless they really have to. As you can see on the sales history, they've been selling decently the past two days. So it seems that a lot of people are doing very bad undercutting on my server. Next is one of my favorites, Tiger Leather. Tiger Leather is used in making the Tiger Skin books for Red Script Farming. Alright, so these are more expensive. Ranging up to 4,000, up to no one's gonna pay 15,000, so we're we'll cut it down to 10,000. So look at the sales history, and they've been selling pretty half and half both days, today and yesterday. Um, definitely been in, uh, in the thousands. These are the earlier ones, and now we're stuck with the more expensive leathers. So, again, great leather for red script farming, and one of my favorites. You can get them in uh, Gansha, and also you can get from the Sabertooths in the Azim Step. The Gayuki ones are right where the um, Confederates are, and the Gagana skins are in the fringes. There's uh, low level ones and higher level ones. Next is going to be another favorite of mine, Merid Leather. These you can get in the Ananta's um, Beast Tribe area. The elephants. You also can get them from the mammoths in the Azim Step as well. These are used in also making books for red script farming. One of my personal favorites. So we're going to round that up to 4400. And I'm going to stop it around 6000 because I don't think anybody's going to be paying more than that. As you can see here, the highest I have gone up to is about almost 5000. Haven't been selling too great yesterday, uh, today, but they've been selling great yesterday, even though it's by one person. Again, great for farming red scripts for materia and uh, whatnot. 
So it was definitely one of my favorite leathers. And the last is going to be gazelle leather. This is the last leather from level 60 to 70. Again, these are for yellow script farming. And the gazelles can be found right outside where the yawn is, where Omega kind of crashed into the, into the earth. All right, so we're gonna round that up to 3,500. And I'm gonna stop it around 7,000. Anything over that is pretty uh, expensive. So as you can see here, again, not too much today, but you see they've been flying off the shelves again the other day. So this is going to be for level 70. So definitely think about getting your retainers to get these is the easiest way I can honestly tell you. All right, so pretty much that's going to be for the common leathers. Now we're going to go into the master recipe books and we're going to go into the ground sloth leather. Again, ground sloth leather can be used in a lot of furnishings, glamour items, and the likes. So, as you can see, we got 19 hits on my server, ranging from 15,000 all the way up to, I'm going to stop that at 30,000. Um, no idea why someone would pay under 20,000, but that's outrageous. Um, as you can see here, they have been selling high quality and normal quality alike around the 30,000 area. I think that's reasonable. Again, they are used for glamour, also used in making the final crafting gear as well. So it's definitely something you guys want to think about selling as well. Of course, those are through the Mendacity Tombstones. And now the current leather, the Procoptodon. These are to make, of course, four star items. So, 23 hits, we're gonna range that up to 20,000. And we're going to actually, I would say, cut off at the 40,000 mark. But as you can see here, they've been selling around the 30,000 mark. High quality, over normal quality, of course. And they haven't been selling uh, at all today, which is unfortunate, but they've been selling great over the weekend. So guys, that is pretty much going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like if you found this useful. Any comments, questions, concerns, please put them in the comment section down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new for more Final Fantasy XIV Stormblood content. And as a reminder, make sure you hit that notification bell next to my subscribe button so this way you will never miss an upload. So until next time, guys, may you forever walk in the glorious light of Lord Bahamut. Take care, guys. Happy selling, and please do not undercut horribly. Take care, guys.